Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into a topic that might sound a little technical, but don't worry. I'm going to break it down in a way that's easy to understand. We're talking about carburetors versus fuel injection systems. If you've ever wondered what the difference is between these two methods of feeding fuel into an engine, or you've heard people debating which one is better, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how both systems work and why modern vehicles have moved towards fuel injection. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the carburetor, the older of the two systems. Carburetors have been around for over a century, powering cars, motorcycles, lawnmowers, and even planes. If you've ever opened the hood of an older car, there's a good chance you've seen a carburetor sitting on top of the engine. But what does it actually do? A carburetor's job is to mix fuel with air before it gets burned in the engine. It's sort of like a chef preparing a recipe, carefully measuring the right amount of fuel and air to create a mixture that burns efficiently. The carburetor relies on a series of mechanical parts like valves and jets to do this. When you press down on the gas pedal, you're really opening up a throttle that lets more air flow into the engine, which in turn pulls more fuel from the carburetor. The result? More power. However, carburetors aren't exactly precision instruments. They rely on the physics of airflow and pressure differences to mix fuel and air. But that process isn't always perfect. Factors like altitude, temperature, and even humidity can affect how well a carburetor performs. If the mixture is too rich, too much fuel, or too lean, too little fuel, it can lead to poor performance, reduced fuel economy, and higher emissions. Now let's move on to fuel injection, which is a more modern technology. If the carburetor is the old school chef, fuel injection is like a professional kitchen with digital tools and precise measurements. Instead of relying on mechanical parts and the physics of airflow, fuel injection systems use electronic sensors and computers to deliver the exact amount of fuel needed for the best performance. In a fuel injection system, fuel is sprayed directly into the engine's combustion chamber or intake manifold. This spray is timed perfectly, thanks to sensors that monitor everything from engine temperature to air pressure. When you press down on the gas pedal in a car with fuel injection, you're sending a signal to the car's computer, which then adjusts the fuel delivery almost instantly. There are different types of fuel injection systems, including port fuel injection, where fuel is injected into the intake manifold, and direct fuel injection, where fuel is injected straight into the combustion chamber. Each system has its pros and cons, but overall, fuel injection is far more precise than a carburetor. So, what are the major differences between carburetors and fuel injection? Let's break it down in a few key areas. Performance, fuel efficiency, emissions, and maintenance. Performance. Carburetors are relatively simple in design but don't offer the same level of precision as fuel injection systems. A carburetor can be a bit sluggish when responding to changes in throttle position. On the other hand, fuel injection systems react almost instantly to changes in throttle, giving you smoother acceleration and more consistent power delivery. This is why fuel injection is better suited for modern engines that demand higher performance standards. Fuel efficiency. Carburetors can be wasteful with fuel because they don't always create the perfect air-fuel mixture. Sometimes too much fuel is added, leading to inefficiency. Fuel injection, however, is much more efficient because it only delivers the exact amount of fuel needed for the situation. This means better fuel economy overall. If you've ever wondered why older cars tend to guzzle more gas than newer ones, the carburetor is partly to blame. Emissions. Because carburetors aren't as precise, they often produce higher levels of harmful emissions. 
In today's world, where environmental regulations are strict, that's a big drawback. Fuel injection systems, on the other hand, burn fuel more cleanly and efficiently, resulting in lower emissions. This is one of the main reasons why fuel injection has become the standard in modern vehicles. Emission standards have tightened and carburetors just couldn't keep up. Maintenance. Carburetors, being mechanical devices, often require regular maintenance. Over time, the tiny jets and valves inside a carburetor can get clogged or wear out, leading to poor performance. If you're someone who enjoys tinkering with engines, you might enjoy the hands-on nature of carburetor maintenance, but for the average driver, it's an extra hassle. Fuel injection systems, on the other hand, are mostly maintenance-free. They're controlled by computers, so unless a sensor fails, which is rare, you won't have to worry about regular tune-ups like you would with a carburetor. If carburetors were around for so long, why did we eventually switch to fuel injection? The answer lies in the need for better performance, fuel efficiency, and lower emissions. As automotive technology advanced and governments imposed stricter environmental standards, it became clear that carburetors just couldn't keep up with the demands of modern engines. Fuel injection systems, with their precision and adaptability, were the natural evolution. They allowed manufacturers to build engines that were not only more powerful, but also cleaner and more efficient. By the late 1980s and early 1990s, fuel injection had become the standard in most vehicles, and carburetors started fading into history. You might be wondering, are carburetors completely obsolete? Well, not quite. While it's true that the vast majority of modern vehicles use fuel injection, carburetors are still used in some applications. For example, you'll find carburetors in many motorcycles, small engines like lawnmowers, and classic cars. Some people prefer carburetors for their simplicity and the nostalgic mechanical feel they offer. There's something appealing about being able to tweak and tune a carburetor yourself without needing a computer or special tools. However, if you're looking for convenience, reliability, and efficiency in your everyday car, fuel injection is definitely the way to go. So there you have it. The key differences between carburetors and fuel injection systems. Carburetors are old-school mechanical devices that mix fuel and air, but they can be inefficient and require regular maintenance. Fuel injection, on the other hand, is the modern alternative that uses electronic sensors and computers to precisely deliver fuel, offering better performance, fuel economy, and lower emissions. While carburetors still have their place in certain niches, it's easy to see why fuel injection has become the standard in today's vehicles. It's a technology that delivers everything drivers need, speed, efficiency, and cleaner emissions. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.